it's a scene where my character Ginny is she, she, she's sort of having an imagined conversation with Mickey, Justin's character, in the mirror. She's kind of brushing her hair and she's just kind of looking at herself and it's a moment of, of reflection. But she's sort of practicing the conversation that she would have with Mickey, almost like it's a performance. And, um, and Woody got me to really play around with it and he gave me so much freedom with it. He said, you know, we have, some, we have you know, a few good ones, you know, just do whatever you want, you make it your own, you know. You know what to do. And I thought, God, he's really trusts me to just share my own ideas about about this moment and uh, and it was it was just great I think partly just I felt like I had Woody to myself you know for an hour whilst we were doing that scene and uh, so for me that was particularly memorable I think my favorite scene to shoot is the entrance coming home happy that he caught fish and shocked to see his daughter after five years my favorite scene to shoot was the scene in the bedroom with, between me and Kate Windsor where um, Carolina and Ginny are just completely on different pages of what they're talking about. You know, Carolina has absolutely no understanding of why Ginny is so angry with her. Um, and getting to do a scene like that with Vittorio and Kate Winslet and Woody Allen, dream. If you really watch, you know, uh, there are very specific moments in the movie where Mickey with Ginny there's a shadow that he can walk in and out of. And Vittorio and I uh, talked about that, you know, because it's representative of him maybe trying to hide himself a little bit from who he wants her to see he really is. So it's a subtle thing, but it's, but it's you know, it's masterful, uh, you know, cinematography. I was told that Woody would like to meet me in New York. I was given the address. I showed up. I walked in. I met him for 60 seconds. He gave me two pages, explained the character. I went outside. I looked at it. He came back in, and I read. And then three hours later, I had the part. It was like uh, very, very Woody. I was actually very, very nervous to say yes because I, I, I genuinely wasn't sure if I really had it in me to be able to play the role. And my husband said, so, well, you know, what did you think when I finished reading the script? And I said, well, it's absolutely incredible, but it's, it's a real shame because I just, I can't do it. I just, I just, I just can't do it. And he's staring at me and I'm going, stop, stop looking at me like that because uh, I'm just, there's nothing you can say that is going to make me do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. It would be too hard and I don't know how. And then my daughter walks past and she goes, mum, get over yourself. You've got to do it. And I thought, God, she's right. Because of course, an opportunity like that just doesn't come around sometimes more than even once in a lifetime. Oh, it's, uh, I'm sure I'm probably uh, mirroring a lot of actors um, who get uh, the most random call from the Woody Allen. I had an experience where my agents called me and said that Woody Allen would like to meet me, which, of course, I was like, wow, how did that happen? And um, I'd had friends that had met him before and had pre-warned me that it was a very fast meeting normally. And so I flew to New York and went to his editing suite where you go meet with him. and. His casting director, Patricia, said, are you ready? And I was like, yeah, ready as I'll ever be. Well, I, I had seen Coney Island. There were times I was there in the daytime before it got moving for the day. And I could see kids and their parents who lived there and who lived in amongst the rides. And, and, and they were poor people and they were harsh people and they had a tough life. And it was not the delight for them that it was for the tourists. There's no special way it just comes to me after a lot of, you know, agonizing thought. I mean, it's, it's, there's no simple way to explain that exactly. Kate's character is keeping me on the wall. And then when Juno's character, my daughter, comes, I can jump off the wall and live again. I was just so overwhelmed by just the magnitude of, 
of all of these characters, but in particular Ginny, the character that I play, um, because she's just so multi-layered and very, very rich and complex um, and, and, and emotionally very powerful. I feel like Carolina was someone that knew quite a lot about herself. Yes, yeah, she's on the run from something, but she's on the run from quite an adult life. Um, oh, and there was a, um, a real sweetness and a naivety to her that I don't think I get many opportunities to play. Love, life, the future, fragile. Very fragile. Victoria and I, you know, sit uh, before we do a movie. I've now just finished my third movie with him. And when we sit and talk and decide what we want to do, and he's full of suggestions, and I have my own thoughts from the script, and we put it together, and then you know, again, like working with genius actors, if you work with genius uh, cinematographers, that's what happens. I've been very fortunate my whole life. I've worked with the finest cinematographers, and Vittorio was certainly right up there with the greatest ever.